New here at 10 o'clock over the summer designers gave us a first look at these proposed designs for the new Morgan Square. And at some point this year, the city of Spartanburg will begin construction. So changes are coming and those big changes make an impact to those around it. So Fox County's Kenny Harris spoke with business owners to get their thoughts. It's slow, but um, with the new developments that's coming, I'm excited. Monica Davis opened Ritzy Styles on Main Street nearly six years ago. Since then, she's seen a lot of changes. More businesses have started to come up since then. It's, it's getting more diverse. The downtown's gorgeous, so it's just, it just, it had all the pieces for us. It was Morgan Square that drew Todd Smith to open his barbecue restaurant five months ago. I love it the way it is. But it's changing soon. The plan calls for a visitor's kiosk with restrooms, performance space, relocating the clock, and a water feature. One talking point has been whether to keep West Main and Dunbar streets closed to traffic. The plan is to keep West Main closed off from traffic as it has been for more than a year. But it also closes off Dunbar from traffic and parking. It looks like we're losing a lot of the sidewalk. Smith wants to keep the outdoor seating but is worried the plan gives them less space. Others? I'm not a big fan of the dining room on our main street. Um, I would rather see an open traffic pattern. Kathy Silverman, like many retail businesses, advocated against keeping Main Street closed off. It helps attract and detour, I think, because with the road having been closed for so long, a lot of people reroute themselves through downtown because there's just a lot of hassle with traffic patterns and shifts. Still, many owners remain optimistic. I think that can be a plus and be a good thing for all businesses down here and maybe attract more businesses to the area. So you just got to work around the negatives. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. Well, these design plans have not been approved by city council yet, but if they approve it soon, the project might be completed before the end of this year. Now, 2024.